Hello everyone. Welcome to Learning Literature with Purva. In today's video, we are going to discuss two important literary movements, realism and naturalism. So we are going to look at the origin and the features of the movements. We are also going to look at the similarities and the differences between realism and naturalism. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Now, realism was a literary and artistic movement that emerged in the 1840s in France. Victorian literature is dominated by realism. Realism is the dominant movement of the Victorian age. So realism means representation of reality without any artificiality or without romanticizing it. So realism is the literary movement that followed romanticism and the realists rejected everything that the romantists believed in. So what are the features of realism? Authentic setting, believable characters, relatable issues. So during Victorian age, we know that industrial revolution was at its peak. So there was the bourgeoisie class and the working class. So the working class people, they struggled a lot with money. So all these issues of social class, gender, these are captured in the realistic novels. So very believable dialogues, authentic characters and the everyday issues of life are highlighted in the novels marked by realism. Some great writers associated with realism are Charles Dickens, George Eliot, Henry James and Gustav Flaubert. Some great realistic novels are Middlemarch by George Eliot, Charles Dickens, Great Expectations, David Copperfield, then we have The Portrait of a Lady by Henry James and we have Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert. So these are some very famous realistic novels. Now we will look at our next literary movement, Naturalism. Naturalism was a literary movement that emerged shortly after realism. Naturalism was highly influenced by Charles Darwin's theory. Naturalism focused on how social class and heredity are inescapable barriers to our success. Emil Zola kick-started naturalism in 1860s in France. Emil Zola wrote a book called Labet Human, which means the beast within. And this is a term associated with naturalism, with naturalistic novels and plays, where we see that human beings are behaving like beasts and giving in to their natural urges due to anarchy, disruption in social order, greed or betrayal. Charles Darwin gave the theory of survival of the fittest. So in a naturalistic novel or play, we see that human beings are trying to survive. Human beings are at war with the society around them. Naturalistic novels and plays show a beastly picture of mankind. The language is very graphic and in a naturalistic novel or play, we cannot see any redeeming pictures of mankind. A naturalistic novel or play shows us how environment shapes people and this theory is completely influenced by what Charles Darwin had said in his book on the origin of species. In a naturalistic story, we can see that nature is hostile, unkind and indifferent. So the nature in a naturalistic novel or play is very different from the beautiful nature that we can see in William Wordsworth's works. In a naturalistic play or novel, we can see that nature is very dark, nature is hostile, nature is unkind, nature is not at all sympathetic. The characters are driven by greed, desire, ambition and betrayal. 
Often the protagonists of a naturalistic work are working class people, uneducated, amoral characters. Now some famous writers associated with naturalism are Emil Zola, Theodore Drizzer, Stephen Crane, Jack London and G. de Maupassa. Some famous naturalistic works are Theodore Drizzer's Sister Carrie and An American Tragedy. We have Stephen Crane's Red Badge of Courage and we have Jack London's To Build a Fire. Now naturalism and realism have a few things in common. First of all, both these literary movements were against romanticism. Both the literary movements wanted to depict the world in a straightforward, honest way. They wanted to depict the reality without sugarcoating it. Now let's talk about the differences between realism and naturalism. So naturalistic writers look at the world in a very scientific manner. Whereas the writers associated with realism, they look at the world with a lot of empathy and sympathy for the characters. Whereas in a naturalistic war, we can see that the author never sympathizes or empathizes with the characters. And the naturalistic work always tries to show that mankind is beyond redemption. And the difference is that in a naturalistic work, we see that nature is indifferent to mankind. Whereas in a realistic novel, we do not see that kind of indifference of nature towards human beings. So these are the differences between realism and naturalism. Both these literary movements try to show reality, but there is sympathy and empathy when realistic novels are being written, whereas when naturalistic works are being written, the world is being looked at in a very scientific manner. Because naturalism is completely influenced by Charles Darwin's theory. So that's it for today's video where we discussed realism and naturalism, two very important literary movements. If you found the video useful, then do like it and share with your friends. I'll be back very soon with a new video on literary work. Till then, stay tuned to Learning Literature with Purva. Do visit our online academy www.learningliteraturewithpurva.com to discover online classes on English literature and creative writing. Also stay connected on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much.